Hello, and in this session I want to talk to you about primary and secondary pain. So we just listened to the story, haven't we, about the two arrows, and that's exactly what that is talking about. It's talking about primary pain and secondary pain. Now primary pain is the pain that you receive when you hurt yourself or if you're in chronic pain, then the pain that your body reacts to, your brain is telling it, is the primary pain. So, like the, um, the story says, you know, if you got hit by the first arrow, that would be your primary pain. It really hurts. But it's the secondary pain that we can do something about. So your secondary pain, to relate you back to that story, is your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth arrows. So your secondary pain is your mind. Now, just to say that secondary pain is just as painful as primary pain, so it is real. And what you um, can do is you magnify your own pain by up to 50%. So they say 50% of your pain is your primary pain and 50% is your secondary pain. So, you know, if we're, when we hurt ourselves or we can't do anything, you know, like the story says, it gets in our head and we're like, oh, what are we doing here? Why are we in this battlefield? I oh, know, I wish I hadn't come. I wish I trained more. I wish this wasn't happening to me. And what actually happens when you're doing that is you're magnifying the pain. You know, you're telling your brain and your pain receptors that, you know, you can't cope with this pain, that it's actually too much. So by, by feeding your secondary pain, you're actually scientifically making your pain more. Now, all of this is scientifically proven. So they know for a fact that, you know, your pain can be doubled just by using your, your mind, by upsetting yourself. And quite often, you know, when we're in pain, we really don't want to be in pain, nobody wants to be in pain. Some days we just can't cope with it. Some days we're like, oh, this is just not fair. You know, why is this happening to me? I don't want to be in pain, I just want to go out and do a normal life, this is not fair. And by doing that, you're, you're tensing your body and actually making the pain worse. So during this course, that's what we're going to be working on. We're working on the secondary pain, mainly. You can work on the primary pain as well, but to start with, we're going to work on the secondary pain. And um, with the secondary pain, it's just noticing those thoughts, noticing that you're doing that. And if you notice something, you have the choice to change it. So once you're aware of something, you have the choice to change it. But of course, if you're not aware of it, then there is no choice. And so don't think, oh no, she's saying it's in my head. I'm making it up. I'm not saying that. It's true pain. It's real pain. When people have been um, wired up to brain machines, um, part of your brain actually lights up when you're in pain. And exactly the same part is lighting up and in pain where, with the secondary pain as well. So it is real pain. But that's the area that we can work on. And that's what a lot of this mindfulness um, pain reduction course is all about, working on our own mind and our own thoughts. So, so yeah, so that's what we're going to be basing things on. So I'll see you in the next session. Bye-bye.